uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me yes. in the back? All right, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Wow, a uh, very good turnout. I'm very happy here. So uh, good afternoon. Welcome everyone. My name is Liana Chen. I am Associate Professor of Chinese Language and Literature in the Department of East Asian Languages and Literature. Uh, I'm also co-directing uh, GW's Taiwan Education and uh, Research Program. Uh, my co-director is also here, Alexa Jubin in the back. So I want to welcome you uh, to uh, today's event. Uh, we uh, we actually we we have a few co-sponsors that make uh, this happen. So uh, this event, first of all, is a uh, King Reynold East Asian Humanities uh, Lecture Series event, and it is also a uh, Taiwan Education and Research Program uh, Humanities Lecture Series event. I would like to introduce uh, my department chair. Um, Emmanuel Kim, uh, the Korea Foundation and King Reno Associate Professor of Korean Literature and Culture. He's going to tell us a little bit about the Korea Lecture Series. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much, Liana. And uh, wow, what a turnout. I'm really excited and I'm so grateful that you guys are all here on this Friday, somewhat gloomy, cloudy afternoon. Uh, and as we enter into our fall, officially fall, it's going to feel like fall very soon. Uh, we're excited that you guys are here to celebrate this kickoff of our Korea event. Uh, Korea stands for Kim Renote East Asian Humanities Lecture Series. And we hold four of these every year, right? And it is because of the one and only, the uh, Professor Emeriti, uh, Younggi Kim Reno, who is sitting right here, who just got in just uh, seconds ago. And uh, yes, and it's not only her financial support that uh, allows the Korea series to go on, but it's actually her vision for bringing in three different programs in our department, China, Japan, and Korea together, bringing in inviting scholars from all over, sharing their research, and really getting to know our DC DMV community. And I'm so glad you, uh, you know, students and uh, the community is here. Now, uh, we would also like to thank, as Liana started off, uh, the Taiwan Education and Research TERP program, uh, the East Asian NRC, Adam, who is representative here, uh, the Asian Cultural Council of Taiwan Foundation as well, and of course, our department, East Asian Languages and Literatures. This is a very unique uh, talk because I think this is our first time inviting a celebrity uh, who is a non-scholar and the turnout really speaks volumes. So I hope you enjoyed this event and I know you will learn a lot. Uh, I'll hand it back to Liana. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Kim. So uh, I, this, it's my greatest honor to introduce you uh, to our speaker today, uh, Master Wei Haimin. Um, well, I will just uh, keep it brief because you will, she will share a lot about uh, her journey into uh, a great master of uh, Chinese opera. So uh, she is, um, as I said, a master of Chinese opera and more specifically in the genre of Jingju or many of you may know it as uh, Peking opera. Uh, well, uh, in uh, well, I'm I'm a drama historian, so I prefer uh, to not to use opera. But for the sake of our, our audience, we'll just uh, rest on on using the term opera here. So she has won many many awards. I'm ju I'll just mention a few. Okay, the Plum Blossom Award, which is the highest honor for a uh, traditional Chinese theater in mainland. Uh, she's also uh, won National Award for Arts in Taiwan. Uh, she's this year the awardee of uh, Asian Cultural Council's fellowship, like uh, Professor Kim has already mentioned. And this is why her trip to the US is made possible. So uh, for the last three decades, uh, Wei has graced stages, large and small, East and West, traditional and modern. Uh, and uh, she, not only impersonate wonderful uh, characters, 
characters from a uh, traditional Chinese opera's re uh, uh, rep repertoire. But she al also played a uh, very, uh, really a lot of memorable characters, uh, Western characters such as Medea, Orlando, and Lady Macbeth. But before we invite we, uh, Master Wei, Wei Haiming to the podium, uh, let's take a watch of uh, really beautiful images uh, through uh, me playing a video clip. Uh, I oh, stop sharing. Should I stop sharing? So I may need your help. <laughs> okay, so last one. <laughs> Chan 在那时空交汇处，或邂逅无数的他们，穿越古今，相会在曲云方寸间。或温婉娴静，或机智美丽，或可敬可佩，亦或可怜可悲。他们丰富了我对人性的认知。多年来，人以为我塑造了他们，现在方才醒悟，是他们造就了我的生命。感恩爱他们。I would like to thank, uh, we have an uh, interpreter for uh, Master Wei today, uh, Teresa Tang. So I would like to invite uh, Master Wei to come to the podium and, and Teresa. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here to speak to all of you about something that is fa my favorite and dear to my heart, uh, the Peking Opera. Beijing Jingjun, 这个高科技的时代，我们还能够看到这样的戏，观众还是看得非常兴奋。Uh, 
，那就表示这种戏剧其实它真的是非常非常的年轻，它一点都不老。呃、uh, ，the opera, Peking opera by itself has been around for more than two hundred years. As we all live in this high tech world, uh, I am always very pleased to find out that everyone, especially our audience, can still be very excited by this. Um, ancient opera art, a performing art, and that means、uh, the art by itself is still very young. 我为了这一次的巡回演讲，准备了很多的资料。那么，我想我是一个演员，我一定是表演会比说的更好。所以呢，我就把京剧的一些知识性的东西，把它啊、呃、集结起来。我们现在就请翻译老师。来为我们做一些翻译，让各位在比较短的时间之内知道京剧的缘起，还有它的生旦净丑，还有它的前代艺术。我现在请翻译老师来为我们介绍。嗯、um, ，as an actor, as a performing artist myself, I would always prefer to perform than to speak, as you can imagine, and that's why a lot of um um. Like Peking Opera One Hundred One, I probably would just prefer to use some of the slides and rely on an interpreter to give you a, a cheat sheet of what Peking Opera is about.、Um, so, if you don't mind, let's take a look at the history of、uh, Jingju, how it was pronounced in Chinese for Peking Opera is one of the more than three hundred genres of Chinese opera、It、emerged in the capital city of Beijing. That's why there is the name of Jing、uh, in the 18th century, and is a highly developed urban theater, and became widely popular and was the imperial court's、uh, favorite entertainment. 那么这张照片呢？它是清代的一个画家画的，因为那个时候没有照片，也没有摄影的。Uh, at the bottom of this、uh, slide, you will see a painting done by an artist、uh, back in Qing Dynasty. That was the time when there was no photography available. But, 各位看一下啊，这里面有几个女性的角色。这一位，这一位，这一位，这一位。As you can see, we have four lady characters、uh, in this painting. One, two, three, four from the right. 都很难看。They don't look very nice. <laughs> Why? Because they're actually men. 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 In Qing Dynasty, it was actually、um, the the、uh, governance of A、uh, families、uh, represented each by their flags、uh, from the Manchurian. 那么，呃，所以呢，对于管理上来讲，他们就要做的很严格。And in order for that、uh, governance to work, it is very important that they have to manage、uh, everyone's daily life very strictly. 尤其是男女之间的关系 ，especially、um, the bisexual relations。所以那个时候，女性是不可以到公共场所去的。And that's why during that time of the dynasty, it is、uh, forbidden for women to go to the public、uh, area。所以那个时候，台上台下都是男的。And that's why if you go to an opera house at the time, all you can see are men on the stage, off the stage. 啊，那么所以呢，我们看到的女性那个时候，而且，呃，也就是说，当时的戏剧它主要是以男性的英雄人物为这个要演出的重点。And the themes of、uh, the Peking operas at the time were predominantly heroic figures, so、uh, the stories were around those heroic figures'、uh, lives. 那么这里面有一个特别的人物，就是左边第三位有一个胖胖的、胖胖的女人，她就是梅兰芳的祖父梅巧玲。There's one person, one lady, quote unquote, that I would like to point out from the left,、uh, third one from the left, slightly、uh, the one with the chubby face.、Uh, this person is actually the grandfather of Mei Lanfang, the master of、uh, Peking opera. 
，那么这个梅巧玲啊，慈禧太后叫她胖巧玲。It is known by the name, his real name, uh, Mei Qiaoling. However, um, Lady Dowager Cixi actually always gave him a nickname like Chubby Qiaoling. <laughs> 就是可见呢，就是这个皇家跟这个演戏的演员其实是非常近的。呃、uh, ，as you can see from that kind of nickname, you can tell, um, all these, uh. Royalties at the time have a very close、uh, relations with those people, either acting or being part of the opera team. So, this opera is called the Qingdynasty. 提升了很多。呃、uh, ，in early years of Qing Dynasty, what was、uh, more popular was Kun Qu. Um, and toward the latter part of the Qing Dynasty, um, Peking Opera Jing Ju became more prominent. But both were heavily supported、uh, by the royalty, by the imperial, um, heavily, and that's why they were able to flourish. 嗯，好，我们接下来看下一章。Okay, the next one. Uh, speaking of uh Jing Ju's uh characteristics, uh, it has um combined the drama and storytelling with uh four uh specific uh techniques: uh singing, mimed, uh dance, and acrobatics, as well as martial arts. Uh, and that's why uh Jing Ju is um total theatrical performance that is quite distinctive from the traditional Western theater. Which is more actor-centered versus playwright-centered, and expressionist and style, uh, stylized versus realist and naturalist. 嗯，也就是说，京剧的表演，它不仅仅是在演一个角色，它借由唱，就像歌剧一样，借由念，也是有一种吟唱的性质，然后做表，然后武打啊，呃，借由这些这个形式。And that's why、uh, Jingju is very unique in the sense that it's not only relying on the actors acting by itself. It also involves a lot of singing, mean,、uh, dancing, and acrobatic and martial arts、uh, that all together、uh, being、uh, well put together in order to tell the story well. 这张照片呢，就是梅兰芳了。各位看，她是不是比较漂亮 ？So as you can see to the left of this、uh, picture is、um, Master Mei Lanfang. I'm sure you can, if you compare with the previous Qing painting, he's much more pleasant. 哈，呃，他的整体的这个呃头饰啊，身上穿的衣服啊，还有这个样貌啊，都比清代的那个要漂亮多了。So Uh, coming to his time under Master Mei, if you look at all overall his style、um, and his posture and how he presented himself as a female figure in the Peking Opera compared to the Qing Dynasty, he is、uh, definitely more feminine and pretty. 好，我们接下来再来看一下。啊 ，Okay, now let's take a look at Jing Ju's、um, various types of for the roles. Ah.、Uh, Because, like I said,、uh, the society has heavy uh, strict uh, restriction for women in public space.、Uh, Jingju was all male, but men have to play all four role types:、uh, sheng, dan, jing, chou. So they re each represent from the left to right the male and female, the painted face, and the comedian, the comic、uh, person. There is also Uh, something called Tian Dan, which is the male impersonating female. Uh, th this last one of the uh, uh, types of the roles were considered supporting roles of a smaller、uh, importance or attraction. This Sheng Dan Jing Chou, 呢，其实我觉得是我们戏曲的祖先呐、啊，他们非常有智慧，他们把一般的人，大家都长得差不多。
啊，谁也看不出来谁是好人是坏人啊，谁也不可能在脑门上贴一个我很奸诈啊，或者是呃我很和善，不可能的。所以呢，在舞台上面，怎么样让观众在最短的时间来认识剧中人呢？于是就把我们很多人呐、啊，就分成各种不同的类型。Um, I thought this was a quite a um innovative idea when they first created、uh, Peking Opera. When they designed it, or as it evolved, they create four types of roles. Um, by uh creating something very um dramatic on their face. So each role type is becoming very distinctive,、um, in the sense that the audience can quickly get a sense of what kind of person, what kind of character this、uh, role is representing. Otherwise,、uh, when all of actors all seem to look very similar on stage,、uh, it is hard for the audience、uh, from the front row to tell it e- easily. Oh, is this a villain? Is this a good person in this、uh, in this opera? So th- the design of the role types made it、uh, very easy for the audience to differentiate what kind of stories, what kind of characters they are. So, 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 so
<laughs> if you can imagine all those outfits and the way they move, you already seeing two different characters. 哎，那么老生呢，就是老夫。Is an old man. Lao Fu, like Lao Fu. Hey, then you just Han, Han. You say what? Why are you? Ah, I'm I'm the Dan. I'm the Dan. I'm going to be uh the lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 真的，我们人是有很多类型的，非常不一样。那我们在小的时候，小孩的时候开始分科，老师一看就知道你适合唱什么，你适合学什么。嗯。So I was just trying to use that little demo to show you different colors of all of us in us, in the characters of ourselves, and uh, and also that should also be reflected reflected in the. Role type developments in Peking Opera, and when you are little, when you are in a, a Peking Opera troupe,、uh, your teacher instructor are、um, the purpose is to quickly identify what role types are you most、uh, fit for. 好，那么这个四个里面呢，这个花脸的脸谱啊，就是静啊，静的脸谱啊，是最特别的。各位有没有觉得很奇怪啊？为什么脸上画了那么多图案呢？ So for four row types, I would like to point your attention to the third one, the painted face, Jing. Um, you probably will ask why their face would have to be painted so colorfully. 其实这是有一个故事的啊。这个在我们的这个呃以前的朝代里面，有一个国王很会打仗，他叫兰陵王，但是他长得太漂亮了。他的敌人呢，都会耻笑他。哎呀，长得这么像娘们啊，就是长得像女孩子一样。于是这个兰陵王打仗的时候呢，就戴上一个凶恶的面具来打仗。So actually, there was a story in、um, our history、uh, for the origin of this painted face.、Um, there was a prince of Lanling in ancient times、uh, who was. Uh, a very uh by the looking by the look of him is quite feminine, handsome but feminine. Uh, but then he was also very good in his um his skill sets on uh in the battlefield. Uh, and that's why there are people who always laugh at him, saying that oh you're so girly by the look. Um, even though he's a a very good soldier in the battlefield, and that's why. He decided、uh, when a, before he goes on to a battlefield, he wants to put on. He designed a very、uh, hideous、uh, mask to put on so that no one can laugh at him or、uh, they will also be intimidated by the look. So, 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 And that's why,、uh, at a certain point in time, the Peking Opera people would have to, in order to tell a、uh, Prince of Lanling story, they have to put on the mask. However, because all the ta task or skill sets of、uh, um, Jingju Opera,、uh, a, a Jingju actor would or artist would have to put up singing, dancing, you know, all those together, a mask wasn't very convenient. And that's why we decided to put the hideous face on, you know, by painting. 那么这个呃图案画在脸上呢，其实有很大的好处，就是那个面具是死的，但是我们人是活的，我们脸上有肌肉，所以当我们脸上画上这个图案呢，你脸一开始动的时候，一动这个肌肉的时候，这个人就好像是活的，长成那个样子的。Um, th there is, uh, there are a lot of benefit by painting, uh, the face like this over putting on a mask because when you put on a mask, it's kind of rigid. But if you paint it over, uh, as you perform the act, the muscles on your face are also activated. So literally, your face is becoming more animated, uh, and with a more sh a striking and vivid, uh, impact. 
，所以呢，这种这种花脸的呢，通常都是讲述的就是很粗犷的男男子啊，那么他的声音也会比较洪亮啊，他就区隔了老生还有其他的比较温文儒雅的男性的样子。Uh, and that's why the painted face is generally the role type uh, for a very uh, masculine, masculine uh, character uh, to be quite distinct from an old man uh, in a, a general old man uh, or a gentleman in that sense. Now we'll see what we can do. Ah, this is Mei Lanfang. We'll introduce you to Mei Lanfang. Now we are ready to move on to the introduction of Master Mei Lanfang. Um, he is uh, considered uh, to recreate uh, Jingju by centralizing and elevating women's roles in particular. Uh, he created a lot of arresting female characters that are considered very refined, majestic, charming, uh, celestial, uh, patient, and or heroic. Uh, and he borrowed a lot of hand gestures from the Buddhist uh, uh, sculptures uh, and adopting hairstyles and headdresses from ancient paintings. Uh, and also he introduced the waistline to long dresses. Uh, so it looked, they would look more feminine. Uh, so uh, through his uh, artistic creation of these female characters or recreation, he somehow um, establish this ideal image of uh, feminine beauty. So you can see that Mei Lanfang is very beautiful. He is a man when he is a man. When he is a man, he can see his hands, his hands, his hands, his hands, his hands, his hands, his hands. So as you can see by looking at his picture of ordinary days, uh, he is a fine gentleman, but when he put on his costume, all the makeup uh, uh, and his hand gesture, he can be as feminine as you can imagine. And that's how his uh, school of performing has been categorized as a May school. We're going to look at this one. This is his different time. So I would like to use this uh, slide to show you how he transpired over different stages of his performing career, uh, also through different types of um, uh, operas. 各位看到中间的那一张，中间的那一张呢，他穿的是当代的服饰。Um, if we look at the middle picture, it is um, the, the, the outfit was uh, quite modern at the time, the modern outfit at the time. This is Mei Lanfang in uh, 1912, uh, the middle picture was taken when he was under 20. Uh, it was somewhere between 1912, 1913. Um, and he actually was already creating new uh, themes or new storylines uh, for the Jingju at the time by borrowing a lot of current events. Because at at, that was at a time when Qing Dynasty was overthrown. Uh, the the new uh, republic was established in China at the time. So as you can imagine, during the transition between the old uh, dynasty versus a new republic uh, culture, um, there was a lot of clashes uh, in, in in culture and value systems. 所以当时的这个社会是非常的乱的，哦、啊，经常有一些新这个头条新闻都是女性受到迫害啊，或者是受到什么样的事件的困扰，所以当时他们就大批的演员呢都开始演了现代戏啊，那个时候叫现代戏。嗯、um, ，the the overall society was、uh, quite chaotic at the time. There, if you read the news at the time, you Probably would easily 
um, see news and headlines about women being suppressed uh, or harassed. Uh, all those uh, chaotic situations make women's lives very difficult. And those topics have become part of his creation. And uh, that's why he created those so-called modern Peking opera based on those social events or headline news. And that's how he dressed that. That was the outfit for the modern time at the time. 那么这个戏演了几年之后呢，这些演员就发现，演了这个现代戏啊，他把这个京剧传统的唱念做打的功夫啊，完全用不上了。However, after few years of creating off this uh, modern things uh, into modern Peking opera, uh, they realize um, the 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 themes themselves made it very difficult for them to uh, utilize the traditional uh, techniques or skill sets, uh, the singing, dancing, memes, and uh, the acrobats and the martial arts. Uh, 音乐的这个过程当中呢，他可以做一些这些动作来美化他的舞台形象。但是这种新戏，它是现代人，他就没有办法去做这个动作，就变成只能站在那里，就是没有办法有那个古典美出现。uh, so to contrast, you can see from um, Master Wei's performance just now, a very important part in the uh, Jingju performance was uh, the heavily reliance of the extended uh, long sleeves. And Chinese is called shui xiu, but it's uh, like extended long sleeves that creates this um, mellow uh, of your sleeves. Uh, and that is quite... Um, rhythmic sometimes uh, as you sing and perform you can use the sleeves to uh, work with your verse uh, whether you're singing or just uh, you know reading and that's why when they are working on the modern themes in the modern opera um, the the outfit itself uh, and also the topic sometimes uh, don't work very well with that kind of uh, artistic performance using the extended sleeves. 所以他们就停止了那样的创作。那么这个时候梅兰芳又开始了这个古典美女的这个古装戏的创作。当时他创造了十个古装戏的美女。这个古装戏的意思是什么呢？就是它的扮相完全不同了，就参考了这个仕女
，梅兰芳就在当年呢，就创造了属于他的一个审美。呃、uh, ，and then to create stories, uh, he borrowed a lot from the ancient legends and fables in China. So he created story of uh Chang'e to the moon and the goddess celestial figure figures that he saw from the ancient paintings. So、uh, so that's how uh the femininity. Of his performing, uh, have uh come to a higher level. 那么这些古装戏呢，除了扮相美、唱腔好听之外呢，他还在每一个戏里边呢，都安排了一段舞蹈。Also, in his unique design of uh all these uh drama um and uh stories, he emphasized, of course, not only Um, the the resonance, how you sing the verse, uh, and how you create the style. Uh, he actually also intentionally added the、uh, dancing, uh, to alleviate the feminine figures. 好，那么第三个阶段呢，就是他把中国古代的在历代当中的很多的呃伟大的女性呢，或者说是很值得很值得演的一些女性呢，他们的戏。再重新的编排出来。呃、uh, ，He also made a, a lot of effort to、uh, revisit a lot of、uh, female figures in our、uh, Chinese history, and to create uh, uh, different layers for the, their stories and to tell their stories on stage to the right, as you can see in the image. 好，我们讲了那么多，那么梅派是怎么表演的呢？我现在就来示范一段。So I've said a lot about the May School of Performance. I think it's always easier for you to see the difference as I dem demonstrated. 那我今天示范这一段呢，是《贵妃醉酒》。这段故事是非常著名的一出戏，但这个戏非常的简单。它就是说，唐明皇约杨贵妃去喝酒。结果呢？唐明皇爽约了，杨贵妃一生气就喝醉了，就这么简单。So, 但是戏要演一个多小时。<笑> so I would like to share a famous story in our history, quite romantic. Ah,、uh, it's about the drunken concubine. Ah,、uh, the story was the story plot was actually very simple. Ah,、uh, the emperor. Tang Ming,、uh, Ming of Tang Dynasty uh, invited uh, his、uh, imperial consort Yang to for a drink, you know, happy hour. So,、uh, but then um, she um, was going through this process of、uh, going to meet him. The whole、uh, the whole section probably、uh, takes about an hour. Something,、uh, but the story was simple. That after all these、uh, hype in her mind,、uh, the emperor did not show up. So there was a no show at the happy hour, and then she was so upset, so she got drunk. 那么在这个戏里面，它是分两个段落，一个是还没醉的时候，就是要去赴宴的时候，哇，好开心啊！因为那个时候他跟唐明皇的感情不太好啊，这个。所以呢，他又又被这个征召了，他的心里就非常的开心的要去赴宴，所以看到的什么月亮啦、啊，看到这个河里的这个呃鸳鸯啊、鲤鱼啦、啊，好像都来向他朝贺一样。哦，他好美哦，要去赴宴。嗯，嗯、um, ，That was there was a lot of、uh, you know mental stirred up in、uh, the consort Yang Smai because at the time she was not the most、uh, Favorite、uh, concubine of Emperor Emperor Tang, but then after this man disappeared for a while, he showed up and invited you for a happy hour. So she was like, "Oh, a lot of butterflies in her stomach." Then on her way to that happy hour, she she was like appreciating everything. Everything was blossoming. Everything was sparkling. Whether it's the moon or the flower or the coil, everything was just beautiful and romantic in her mind. So that was a lot of.、Uh, Uh, build up to that moment, expectation. 
那么这个戏的后半段呢，它就是要醉酒了。那么在这里呢，我想稍微的介绍一下，因为因为醉酒啊，其实是一个非常有趣的啊。我们一般人的醉酒呢，肯定就是很难看的，对不对？呃，醉醉醉酒不是这个人晃来晃去的啊，然后要吐了，嗯，啊，就就吐了，对不对？但是如果一个贵妃这样子，那多难看呐、啊！你看她穿的这么漂亮，那么她怎么醉呢？她怎么吐呢？我来表演给各位看一下。So the second part of, as you can imagine, when there was a no show from the emperor, she was all very upset. She drank too much. But as you can remember, recall from all those、uh, friends and colleagues who didn't do well at the bar, so it's not very aesthetic. It wasn't really pretty. So, for a very、uh, ladylike、uh, consort Yang, how does she present herself in that moment?、Uh, how does she demonstrate when you know she's still a feminine lady figure when she was drunk, when she was trying to throw up? You know, that was the art of it. 在演京剧，在塑造角色的时候，这一点非常重要，就是它的统一性。就是，即便她是醉酒，她也是贵妃，啊，不是说她喝醉酒了就变成一般人了啊，不可以的。Uh, so the essence of、uh, any theatrical performance is the consistency of the character. That's how I would call it. So,、uh, imagining her a position as a very ladylike imperial consort,、um, you know, even when she was drunk, you still have to demonstrate that elegance、uh, in in her her drunk. Act. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 I just puked. So that's how a lady would throw up. 啊<笑>、哦，这个就叫吐了啊！<笑>所以呢，这个统一性非常重要。那我现在表演这一段呢，是他要去赴宴的时候的这个美好的情景。So that was the consistency I was talking about.、Uh, you start as a lady, you are always a lady. And now I would like to show the first part that is a little bit more romantic,、uh, building up to the high expectation. 哎，我还没摆架呢啊！那么我在这个表演之前呢，在里面啊，在幕后，我要喊一句叫“摆驾”。那“摆驾”的意思呢，就是啊，宫女啊，太监啦、啊，在前面要引路啊，这有一个仪仗啊。好，那我现在就来念这句“摆驾”。So before I begin the actual performance of、uh, Lady Consort Yang, um, There is a leading like a, a sentence to usher her into the stage, which is let us proceed. Normally, it was uh, uh, pronounced announced by the usher uh, of her uh, 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 format.
颠覆啊！对，呃，我看到很多朋友在录影哈，呃，我觉得今天的音响不太好听。如果您录了话，回家自己看就好了。嗯<笑>、um, ，I saw a lot of you. I I saw a lot of you uh taking recording uh just now, but today the theatrical uh. Uh, in fact, it's actually not ideal. So hopefully, you can just keep it to yourself. <laughs> you know, they're not good enough for showing. Thank you. Thank you very much for your appreciation. So now I would like to spend some time to tell you who I am. Hi Ming Wei, Wei Hai Ming. I am 11 years old, I came to school in Taiwan. I joined the troupe when I was 11, um, and I was already had my uh, stage debut as a leading actress uh, when I was 13. So this was a, a post or a picture from my first stage debut um, about Lady General Mu Guiying takes charge, takes command. 那么也就是说，我从十三岁到今天为止，我都是一直都是演女主角的这个身份。这个就是京剧的特殊的地方，就是你是学那个的，你这一辈子。都要花时间在研究这种角色上面。呃、uh, ，so from day one I was the leading actress, and up until today, that's who what I perform in every single performance after that, and that's probably one of the unique characteristics of Jing、uh, Ju that you are determined to be suitable for a certain role, and then you carry it on throughout your career. 我小的时候，老师都非常喜欢我，因为我学习特别快。那么，所以很多机会都落在我的身上。但是我在毕业以后，就是九年学了九年以后，我突然觉得我对京剧好像认识不深，觉得这这个艺术好像我也没有特别感受到它是很棒的一个艺术。所以当时我非常的彷徨。Um, I, like I said, I started as a fast learner, so all my teachers loved me. Um, I got, therefore, a lot of uh, opportunities to be on stage compared to many other uh, actors and actresses uh, at the time. However, after nine years of uh, being um, the, the, the most favored uh, performer in our troupe, um, I started to feel a little bit uh, confused and puzzled as to why am I doing this? Do I really love this enough to to have a lifelong career with it? Um, and something that is quite unplanned, but happened quite um, at the right timing. The, when I visited Hong Kong at that time, 
when I was very confused and have doubts in my mind about my career, I went to Hong Kong. I was for the first time able to see the performance of Mei Baojiu, the son of uh, um, Mei Lanfang at the time. That truly uh, inspired me. 那么当时我觉得非常震动，我觉得我终于找到那个艺术的高度了，我终于看到了那个殿堂了。I uh, was really touched by his performance, and that was very fundamental in building, in making who I am today, because it is that performance who made me see uh, the ceiling, the and the whole art. Um, Performing art in my mind was elevated to a highest level. 当时我就想拜师, At the time, I already wanted to become uh, his student, apply to be his student. But uh, that was also a very conservative time, cross Taiwan Strait between mainland China and Taiwan. So there wasn't a lot of communication. 我一直到91年才到了北京, I wasn't able to uh, fulfill that dream until 1991 when I went to Beijing to officially make myself his student. So as you can see, uh, this is the picture that we took. Um, and then, like I said, he's the son of uh, Mei Lanfang. So he represents the second generation of Mei school um, performing art, uh, and it was a blessing for me to be able to uh, learn with him and tour with him. So, from 1991年到2002年,這10年當中,我就是來來回回的在台灣跟北京,那麼把梅派的戲做了一個有系統的一個整理. Um, and after 1991, I spent about 11 years uh, up until 2002 to uh, travel between Taiwan and Beijing and to also tour uh, with uh, Mr. Mei Baojiu uh, in order to have a very systematic way of learning the essence of Mei School. Okay, 啊,不同的梅派系的這個劇照. Uh, uh, these are photos taken uh, for some of the uh, May school's operas that I learned during that time. Um, I use that opportunity to learn the essence of their performing art. 但是事實上,在我的生命當中,在拜師以前,我們在台灣的這些年輕演員呢, 就开始意识到了我们的观众好像越来越老化，就是年轻人都不进剧场了。我们也开始觉得很着急，于是我们就开始做了一件在当时是满惊天动地的事，就是我们把莎士比亚的《马克白》变成京剧的演出。also during that time, um, as I was trying to borrow and learn from the old school um, um, through that tour uh, and learning experience, we also realized in Taiwan that the traditional audience that we had was getting old. It was actually getting harder to have uh, to draw young people to come to the uh, Jinju theater. That's why we decided to do something quite unconventional, unprecedented for sure at the time. We decided to uh, make Lady Macbeth uh, our Peking Opera theme. So this is what we did at the time uh, through the Kingdom of Desire. Um, we created uh, the, the story and the Jinju uh, of Macbeth. 那么这个戏我们是把它移到中国的东周列国的时代 And uh, to make it a little bit more localized, uh, we decided to take the whole story into an ancient Chinese uh, history uh, to be in the warring states of China. 那么当时的编剧、导演、演员都是年轻的 
And we were also very bold uh, to use uh, young actors, actresses, and young directors. 当时我还很年轻，所以我也搞不太清楚这个戏是什么。当我拿到剧本，我才发现，原来我要演一个坏女人呢、啊。So at the time, I was also one of those young actors, actresses. So um, I said yes without knowing what the Macbeth was about. And then after I read the script, I was like, "Oh gosh, I have to be a villain. I have to be a bad lady for the first time." We in the traditional films, the women actors are very perfect, very dressed up. 怎么样去演一个坏女人？我真的不知道。I've been trained at by that time. I had been trained all my life in my career to be a perfect, nice Chinese lady. I no one has taught me how to be a villain and how to be mean. 即便如此，我还是我还是演出了啊！我我还是演了。演了之后，那个台湾的观众都都非常的这个这个嗨呀、啊。就是很震撼，觉得这个戏怎么那么特别？虽然我们的唱念做打还是京剧的，但是我们所有的舞台、灯光、服装都是新创作的。Um, and we create a big sensation among our younger audience at the time after, of course, seeing how I act up to be a a a, a very mean lady in Macbeth. Um.、Uh, We were able to still apply the four major skill sets from Jingju,、uh, but while at the same time to do to be very creative and innovative in how we design the stage to modernize the costume. 但是当时我非常不满意自己的表演，于是我就开始啊，这个去搜寻一些资料，因为我们那个时候九零年就要到英国的皇家剧场去演出。我希望在去英国以前呢，我能够找到更好的演坏女人的样子。嗯、um, ，However, I wasn't very happy with how mean I was for Lady Macbeth. I I feel I I need to do a little bit more work. Uh, especially we were scheduled to uh tour to the Royal Theatre of、uh, London, um in in the UK in the nineteen ninety, and that's why. Um, I I figure I need to uh find a way to make myself more uh to this to the core of this、uh, Lady Macbeth. 我找到一种表演的，就是日本的卡布奇。So I've been searching to the extent that I found the answer. I found inspiration from the Japanese kabuki. 那么为什么呢？各位看一下我们的这个装扮。So why do I say that? Let's use a picture, perhaps, to show you. Ah, this dress has already been different from the traditional costume that we have. Let's look at the next picture. If you look at the costume, it's very different from what we used to have in Jingju. The next one. So, on the right side, this one is he is telling his general to kill the king. So that night, they are in a secret meeting. You can see, I am wearing a dress that is completely unshaven. Uh, so as you can see, the left is a very vivid、uh, facial expression. Uh, when uh, the Lady Macbeth was trying to persuade the general to kill the king,、um, and the the actually the costume I wore at the time for this、uh, production, there was no long extended sleeves as we used to have. 那么这个裙子呢，它绕啊绕啊，穿到后面还有一个长长的尾巴。Uh, the skirt, the costume has a very long tail. In the end, ah, it has a very long tail. So when the costume has a long tail, you can only go forward. When the costume has a costume has a long tail like that,、um, there's only one way to march on. You can only walk forward, but never go backward. So, 往后就踩到它了 Because you're going to trip if you go backward. So, 我就只能迂回的走 And that's why I have to walk like this、uh, to circle around. 那么后来我就发现啊，这个，嗯，要怎么样演一个坏女人呢、啊？我可以从服装上面来找到一种创作的灵感。And that's why I was、uh, all of a sudden inspired by the design of the costume with a long tail. 
is I need to um, showcase uh, uh, how bad I was as Lady Macbeth. Uh, instead of to do it as an actor using my acting, I could play with the tail of the dress. The Kabuki, they often use you have watched Kabuki, they have a lot of uh, acts that would involve the play with the tail of the dress. And that's how I created uh, my role of Lady Macbeth in that production, you know, to be pretty elegant, but then also very mean and evil. Uh,这张就是呃报纸的头条新闻，那是那一年九零年我们到英国去演出的时候，有大概有呃八家报纸的头条都登了我们的新闻，就可见我们这个欲望成国就是把马克白这出戏还是从戏曲的角度演的还是
啊。那么国王来了，原来是要叫敖淑珍出去打仗，但是他们夫妻两个不相信，就在密谋了。Start a war, but the couple, uh, the the Macbeth couple, actually didn't believe. So they started to plot a conspiracy. 好，接下来，嗯，夫人，你可知大王到此何事？明是行辕涉猎，实乃调我人马，讨伐北城叛逆临江伯。哦。既是桃花叛逆，为何不见孟听将军到来？哦，我与孟听兵分两路，我军先行，孟听随后接应。哈哈哈哈哦，随后接应。相公，我看此事其中有诈，怎见得？相公，我了大梦聘，欲将鬼幕之言大。这大王，只是爱与相国，无比高强，难以制服，才定下这调虎离山之计，亲自到此取信与你。待等相国，明日出城游探之事，那孟聘率兵与城内大王御林军，与你来何？哎呀，相国啊，相国，到那时，你也命丧水深，还不如命本。有没有很坏？ The shirt is off. I hope. <笑>好，那么这个就是我从呃《欲望成国》这个戏呢开始，慢慢领会到，身为一个演员在舞台上面，其实他可以改变的，或者说他可以创作的很多的呃不同不同的东西。比如说，我借由这个服装，我就可以把这个个性。来做一个很大幅度的一个改变，因为当你穿这个服装，你看一般的像这样子的这种比较属于传统女性的，就很柔美，你就不会觉得它是很邪恶的感觉。但是你加了这种东西，哎，它的邪恶感就出来了。呃、uh, ，so what I've learned a lot through this、uh, modern rendition of、uh, Lady Macbeth. Uh, and, and the Chinese using the Chinese hist historic backdrop, I realize there are so many you can play with in your theatrical act.、Uh, traditionally, I feel like there's only one way of performing a female figure,、um, more feminine,、um, but then and charming most of the time. But then, using the costume this time, I realize costume can be a very important prop. To help me to bring out the personality of the the person of the character itself. 那么我这次是带来两段示范。刚刚这一段是《欲望成国》，是有关于念白，跟有关于这个所谓的个性的塑造。那么接下来这个呃希腊悲剧《梅迪亚》呢，我要来讲述的是我改变在这个声腔，就是唱腔的部分的改变。我来跟各位做示范，做分享。So I today prepared、uh, two、uh, segments or two、uh, production, the expert's、uh, production, to showcase what I've learned as a performing artist. So the one you just saw through the Chinese version of Lady Macbeth, I would like to show you how costume can come into play to、um, 
to demonstrate uh, the the personality you would like to share. And that was more of a monologue. Uh, but then the second one is the story of uh, Greek tragedy, Medea. Um, and then for that demonstration, I hope to show you how I manipulate uh, my the art of singing verses and how I use the resonance uh, of my body cavity. 当然我不是说只演了这两个戏啊<笑> Of course, uh, throughout my career, I've done um, dozens of productions. Uh, many of them are um, uh, created off of the Chinese uh, legends and stories. Uh, I, the reason I pick uh, the Kingdom of Desire and Medea is because they are stories originating originated from the Western culture. So hopefully it will be more relevant to all of you here uh, in my in our attempts as we try to recreate a Jingju for the modern times and modern audience, how we can bring out the contrast uh, while still borrowing the the great skill sets uh, from Jingju. Because 到最后是杀掉自己的孩子来报复抛弃他的丈夫，所以她是一个非常烈性的一个女子。呃， uh, the story of Medea is um definitely very vivid and bloody to some extent because uh, as a protagonist, uh, Medea portrayed herself as a victim, um, uh, by taking revenge of through killing of her own kids. Um, to create pains of uh, the husband who be, or the lover who betrayed her. So, the emotions of the character Medea, um, is going to be very different from how we portrayed a very conventional uh, Chinese uh, women in our history. So, in 1993年演出的时候呢,这个戏完全没有用到京剧的唱腔或者京剧的锣鼓,通通没有了。And that's why when we uh, were working on this production, um, we didn't use a lot of conventional um, uh, Jingju's uh, uh, singing styles. Uh, we didn't use the the, the um, offstage, the background music, the gong and drums. 那么当时我拿到剧本也是觉得,哇,这个角色实在挑战性太强了。我要怎么样才能够演出 这么一个有深仇大恨的这个女子的声音，那你用京剧的那种啊，大哇，这种方式完全没有办法把这个角色体现出来。Um, as you can imagine, I was supposed to portray media using my performing arts, the, the strong hatred in her mind, uh, and her her revengeful. Acts, uh, and that's why using the traditional Peking opera's uh, singing style, was, which was very mellow, it, it wasn't uh, very helpful to bring out that contrast of her uh, inner play. I remember remember for that production, we had to work with five directors, um, and one of them uh, was studying uh, the Western theater. So he taught me something to uh, showcase the, the, the personality. I'm going to borrow that chair, if you don't mind. So the director asked me to push a table let's say that's a table 
，你，你，你，你吃饱了吗？师傅 ，Have you had lunch？ 你，你为什么这样对我 ？Why do you do that to me？ 哎，就这样子，好像就找到了。In order to, in order to inspire me, that um, the the mental state of Media. That's how he taught me using like the the strong push of uh of the table. 那么戏曲的表演，当然我们戏曲演员必须要有唱。那么在这个在这个表演里面呢，我也要有一些唱腔。但是呢，这个唱腔跟刚刚各位刚刚听到那个呃，这个贵妃醉酒的这个唱腔呢，又不能够一样，所以呢，我们当时我记得编曲的这个老师呢，他不编唱腔，他只编配乐，于是他就找到了这个蒙古的呼麦，还有这个长呃呃长调这些 CD 让我们听，让我自己去编这个唱的。Um, and because it was still an opera to some extent, right? So it couldn't be just monologue, and that's why, um, the directors uh were trying to create the music for us. Uh, but then we and and relying uh, us the uh the Jinju players or actors and actors to come up with our own singing verse and the mellow. So in order to help us to participate in that kind of co-creation of the scene, um, he actually uh, gave us a lot of music references from Mongolia uh, to use their uh, local folklore as well as those uh, extended uh, uh, mel melody um, and mo in modules to help us to create our own singing style. 就是很大漠的感觉 And、uh, with a hope by listening to folklore from Mongolia, we were able to create our own singing styles and singing verses as if you are singing toward the desert. 那各位可以看接下来这一张，这这张照啊，这张照片，前面那张跟这一张呢，这个服装都很特别。So as you can see from the costume design, the one before and after, um, the costume design was very unique. Uh, it was designed by, uh, Ye Jintian. 嗯，那么它的设计呢，就是设计这个这个女主角好像中年都是带着泪痕的，就是那个那个痛苦带给她的是永远没有办法跳出的一个深渊。Uh, the the essence of the the costume design and the stylistic design was to try to remind you, Medea is the late as a victim in his, her relationship. The the teardrops were constantly embedded in her in her mind on her face in her overall presentation, uh, and that's uh the the strong echo from her mind being betrayed. 那么我接下来示范呢，就是呃，在戏当中呢，就是 Media 跟她的丈夫 Jason 两个人大吵一架，然后 Media 就颓然就倒在地上，然后就突然想到了罗布泊，就是他家乡的河，就好像他的母亲河，在那个地方，他的青春年少，他对于爱情的憧憬，对于生命的向往。都在那个河旁边发生，但是后来背叛了之后，这些东西通通都没有了。Um, so I, I'm going to give you a demonstration of this part. Uh, when Medea went through a big fight uh, with the uh, uh Jason, and um how that fight uh helped her to recall her. Her hometown of、uh, Lopar,、uh, and that scene toward her the 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 river in her hometown village reminded of her all her youthful years. How she started the love and the journey with Jason, and how she at one point aspired her life was going to be, and how it is not going to be like that. 好，我们现在就来示范这一段。
Thank you. Thank you. 那么以上就是我今天分享给各位的三段不同的示范表演，希望你们会喜欢。那么接下来我再呃跟大家介绍一下，我在这么多年以来呢，其实跟呃几位美国导演也合作，我觉得。那个时候的合作呢，带给我的养分是非常大的。第一位就是 Richard s h e t n e r 呃，我们做了也是希腊悲剧《奥瑞斯提亚》。那么，对《奥瑞斯提亚》。嗯。呃 ，So, uh, just now sharing with what I have, uh, um, uh, gone through in my artistic creation, three different distinctive. Uh, uh, styles of performance uh, using the jing uh, ju. Uh, um, so I hope you all like it. But now I would like to spend some time to uh, show you my experiences in working with uh, other directors uh, from everywhere around the world uh, with uh, Richard uh, Schenner uh, uh, in the another Greek uh, uh, story or uh, opera, uh, Oresteria. Uh, Wilson. The second director I work with was also from、uh, America, Robert Wilson. 哎，我们合作的这个《欧兰朵》呢，是伍尔夫的小说所改编的。Um, Orlando, uh, of the story from Virginia Woolf. 那么这这部戏呢，是一个独角戏，就是我一个人在台上要两个小时。Uh, that was challenging because it was almost like a monologue by myself for two hours. Hmm. 好，那么第三位呢？啊，这也是欧兰朵的，她从男的变成女的。This is a、um, part of the Orlando's scenes、uh, when she was、uh, transformed, um, transgendered、uh, in that sense from a male uh persona to a female persona. 
，这个呃，这个故事大概各位都不知道啊。那么，呃，这是伍尔夫的一这个同名的小说《欧兰朵》。那么，他讲述的一个贵族少年，呃，活了四百年，从男的变成女的，啊，这个生活中所有的经历，啊，经过所呃，就是经历过所有的经历。那么当时我在演这个戏的时候，非常的困惑，因为一个人怎么可能活四百年呢？我是不相信的，所以我的很苦恼，真的不知道该怎么演。嗯 ，That was actually a very challenging one. Um,、uh, probably by the sound of Orlando, you probably couldn't tell how difficult that was for me, because that was from, uh, like I said, Virginia Woolf's uh, 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 uh novel Orlando. Uh, it's a story about a noble young gentleman living more than four hundred years, as he uh trans uh tr、uh, transform himself from a man to a woman, and it was particular difficult for me is because you have to uh use a lot of imagination to depict this kind of surreal world where someone could live a four hundred years. Hmm. 所以后来我呢，我还是克服了，因为，因为我就把这个戏曲，我们的戏曲呢，它的历史，我就把它放在这个，呃，所谓的戏曲，就是说戏曲的表演的方式，从古代到现在，我就把它放在这个角色当中，就好像他从四百年前、三百年前、两百年前、一百年前，慢慢的走向现代。Uh, so that was a big challenge for me. I was able to overcome, uh, by getting rid of those burdens that I have, uh, from learning from an uh operas of a lot of ancient stories and stay ancient, uh, for the whole production. But this, uh, I was required to transform myself from someone four hundred years ago, three hundred years ago, two hundred years, and one hundred years ago. Uh, basically, you have to transform. You have to grow in that production, uh, from a an more ancient person to a modern person. 嗯，那么接下来一出戏是跟呃新加坡的一位导演王景生先生呢，我们合作了一个《千年舞台》，我却没怎么活过。那么这是演我自己的故事。Uh, the next uh, international collaboration was uh, with Ong Kang Sung, uh, the Singaporean director, back in 2021. It was uh, uh, a performance and a production basically about myself, my own story.、Um, the name of the theater production was called A Thousand Stages, Yet I Have Never Quite Lived. 那么这也是一出独角戏啊，这个就是我。呃，历年所所跟这个国外的导演合作的这些戏，嗯 ，and that again was also a monologue. So these are the three productions I've worked with、um, directors from around the world. 啊，这个服装就是这出戏的。<笑> so as you can see, that is the dress that I use for that. <笑>对，蛮好看的啊。嗯，好。Pretty nice, right? 呃，他讲述的我们在台湾的这个戏曲演员。从七零八零九零年代一路过来，那么发生的一些事情啊，跟这个社会是相关联的。Um, actually, through my own personal story as a performing artist, so,、uh, um, we were able to review a lot of major events we went through in Taiwan from the nineteen seventies, eighties, and nineties. How those events、uh, transform our society and our culture. 嗯，那么以上就是呃，我们还带来一段那个视频，就是欧兰朵的视频，让各位看一下。嗯、um, ，To finish off,、uh, I would like to show you a video from our、uh, production Orlando.
करते हैं क्या哦，刚刚这个最后一幕呢，是台湾的最好的一个剧场，两厅院，也刚好也让各位看到一下。So the last bit of it was、um, the view from inside of Taiwan's the top uh, uh, theaters, uh, the National Theater of Taiwan. 那么刚刚最后的那个钢琴声呢，就是 Robert Wilson 这位大导演呢，他就借由。把这个现场的漂亮的水晶灯按下来，让观众好像掉到了一个很奇特的、很奇幻的一个时空。Um, the last bit of、uh, piano in the background, uh, showcase、uh, how Robert, the director Robert Wilson, designed the the beginning of the uh production. By、uh, shutting the, down the, all the light,、uh, the chandelier, and all of a sudden, with that abrupt shutdown of the turn off of the light,、uh, to、uh, basically sink、uh, the audience into a new universe or space. This is I have never seen such a method of directing a film. Because I found that it is really high art, because it combines the whole environment with the film. That was.、Uh, Pretty amazing for me. A very、uh, different experience because I've never experienced something like that when the whole environment of the theater was being blended into the play itself. 嗯，那么以上就是我今天带来的演讲，希为希望各位喜欢，谢谢。That's、uh, my presentation today. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. 好，那我们谢谢。Thank you. 对，魏老师，您要不要说一下？哦，好的，呃，这个这个 Q R code 啊，各位可以进去，然后买我的线上课程，就是教大家认识京剧。<笑> If you don't feel you have learned enough today about 京剧 and Peking Opera, feel free to scan the Q R code. We have、uh, created series of、uh, 京剧。Uh, courses online.、Uh, so if you scan that, you can purchase the the program and have a deeper learning later on. This is what I did in the last two years. I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at home, and I felt that I could do something in the last two years. I did this online program. This online program was created during COVID. Uh, when everyone was supposed to be at 这个京剧的讲座呢，是由两个老师，一位老师是从编剧，从台湾的历史，从台湾这个京剧的发展的过程来做演讲。那么我的课程呢，是从台前作为一个演员，把这个京剧的特色，还有把这个京剧刚刚梅兰芳，还有四大名旦他的表演，以及我如何的来诠释我的戏曲。啊，从这个两个两个方面来带大家来追京剧，来呃跨入京剧的这个领域。嗯、um, ，I highly recommend this series not just because I am there, but also it is a、uh, a quite a witty design that includes、uh, people on the backstage.、Uh, on the left, you can see that is the other、uh, instructor in this course,、uh, Miss Wang, who is a playwright. For the Jinju, uh, place, uh, and then, uh, she will talk、sure. a lot about the history, the origins, and all the, uh, designs of those、uh, scripts, 
that uh, she facilitated. Well, I as a, a performer, a performing artist, uh, I would uh, share with uh, the students my experience uh, on stage, uh, um, on my learning journey, how I um, in, uh, improve myself through the May schools of uh, um, Pig, uh, Jingju style and how I interpret uh, each and different characters uh, and roles uh, in my career. 接下来一点时间，我想就给呃现场的观众朋友有什么样的问题要提出，请各位不要客气。so I'm happy to open it up for some Q&A to give our audience opportunity to ask some questions. Feel free. Hi. Uh, 老师你好, uh, 我想请问一下, 你在国际上宣华, 宣传中华文化那么久, 那你觉得西方文化最能向东方文化学习的是什么? Um, Thank you for being with us today. Um, I would like to ask, um, since um, you have been an ambassador of the Chinese culture through your performing art uh, over the years, uh, what are, as you tour around the world, what are things you feel you would like to promote for Western culture, Western people or theater uh, to borrow from the Chinese culture? Tashodashang 不同的民族学习不同的来出发去尊重别人的一些想法去尊重别人的看法这就是最好的一种文化的交流 um, The world around us um, is actually spinning a lot faster than ever before and we're all in this uh, spindle I would have to say but when you work with people from different ethnic groups different racial backgrounds I, I believe uh, there are are always going to be merits or things you can borrow from any given culture or ethnic group. Um, but if I have to describe what what do we go about to do this, uh, I, I would have to say you want to look at any culture that is different from yours, how they ground themselves, uh, how they perceive uh, the relations of themselves with the world around them. Uh, how do they establish that relations between the sky and the earth and themselves, the uh, people, the, the human in the universe, and, and that, how that kind of relations between human and universe would help you to respect uh, other cultures better? I guess that's the most important thing one can observe and learn through that process. We have a we can for uh, people who raise questions, we would like to give a little gift. So, <laughs> we have more. Feel free. <laughs> I hope that encourages you to raise hand. <laughs> okay, she was the next. Um, thank you. I will also like to ask the question is why it is important in the Peking, in the Jinju Opera to put the the face has to be white. The Orlando. The one in Orlando, why does it have to be so white? It was a request by the director how he designed, how he envisioned. Um, and what uh, the question was, uh, how did you do that? Did you paint over? Was it uh, just pure, fair complexion? 
呃，这位导演呢，对于日本的卡布奇非常着迷。那么他觉得一个呃，这个人物在台上非常白的时候呢，他就显现出一种很不一样的气质。你会很吸引别人的注意。如果你是平常的皮肤，看起来就就没有什么特别嘛。所以他很喜欢我，整个手都是擦的很白的。那么这个现在的化妆品应该都能够达到这个目的吧？嗯<笑>、um, ，The director for Orlando was a fan of Kabuki in、uh, Japan. Uh, and I'm sure you can see traces of uh, that in the overall costume and the makeup.、Um, and he believes the reason for a fairly white complexion in the makeup was to create this eye-catching effect、uh, in the whole theatrical uh, influence. Uh, so at the time, I have to put on really fair complexion foundation. Uh, face and my hands and arms、uh, to to make that big contrast on stage. I'm sure a lot of cosmetics these days would be able to achieve that effect. 好，送给你一个。Hey, this is for you. <laughs> wow, now it's a challenge、I'll、for say, me to decide. So, do we do this? Maybe to see who, who which one is faster. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Tough. Tough. <laughs> I don't want to be biased, so I don't want to pick. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard for me to. Ah, woman. Oh, my God. Ah, woman. Oh, my God. I'll just narrow down to one very simple question:、uh, What is your comment on the film 1990, 1993 film、uh, "My Fair Oil, My Concubine"? Thank you. My question is very simple. I just want to ask you: Do you have any comments on the film "My Fair Oil, My Concubine"? Thank you. My question is very simple. I just want to ask you: Do you have any comments on the film "My Fair Oil, My Concubine"? Romantic uh, uh, rendition of Jingju、uh, or Peking Opera. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, please.、Um, are there Americans?、Um, are there Americans or British that have gone to、uh, Beijing to train to be part of the opera? Uh, I know in Japanese culture in the sumo, there have been Americans that have gone to train, but the Japanese hierarchy would never let them in to the highest level.、Um, has that ever been an issue in China with a foreigner achieving the highest level in the Beijing Opera? Uh, 从来有没有在历史上有没有英美人士到北京去学京剧啊？那么，呃，问这个问题就是，我知道在日本文化当中，相扑文化是非常受重视的。那也有很多的海外人士去日本去学学相扑，但是根据相扑的这个传统呢，就是你不是本国人，你也不能够爬到最高的位置。我不知道，就是以往在京剧的学习当中有没有这个现象，然后是不是也有这个？即便如果你不是本国人的话，不是本文化的人，是不可以爬到最高的位置的。呃，这。这不是分是不是外国人能不能爬到，而是说你的艺术的艺术的表演不可能到达最专业，你只能是票友。你知道票友吗？嗯，票友就是业余的。OK， so um it's actually not the 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 nationality um that would decide whether you can climb up to the highest, but really um the 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 Artistic level of that you can bring into this perform performance if you want to be、uh, one of the、uh, Jingju uh, artists.、Um, so basically,、uh, a lot of you can become uh, a, a Jingju fans and an amateur. You can perform as an amateur, but it's really up to the artistic level that you can bring out. If you can, I don't see why not, right? 呃，是有的。其实历年来很多人都在学京剧
。但是京剧要从这么小开始练，所以所有的人去都是就是业余爱好者而已了。嗯、um, ，I I don't think there is any showstopper, but then as you can imagine, to be a true uh Jingju artist, you have to start from when you were very young. Uh, when you don't have that ground up,、um, you can become a very good amateur and a very good fan, but it's hard to be an artist. How? Thank you. Ah, you tell me, tell me, I just, I tell it. Then find a woman, okay? Back to the lady. Okay, to the lady. Uh, this one, come. Okay, yes, please. Thank you. I want to ask you. 你演 Orlando 的时候是是你第一次演一个男的主角吗？你是怎么你是怎么看这个表演？而且从那些男的演女主角，你有从从从从他们带来什么 inspiration 什么哦地方？嗯、oh. um, ，有什么有什么区别？想跟我讲？嗯，我先翻一下。Uh, so I my question is about your participation and your uh act in uh, Orlando. Um, was that the first time you have to uh impersonate um a male character, and if so, how has that experience uh inspired you? This question is very complex. Ah, in our music performance, the male and 昆生，就是男的演女的，或者是女的演男的，都有历史，它都有历史背景。That's a very tricky question because we have um um historic roots uh for uh our artists to impersonate the opposite sex. 那么，所以我小的时候呢，我的。本嗓也很好，就是我也会唱老生，我老生也唱的不错的，所以呢，对于所谓的角色的男女，在我来讲呢，都不是问题，就是我可以，我可以随时的转换。那么，但是这不是每一个演员都能够做到的。啊、uh. ，When I was little, by training and also by nature, I tend to have a very wide range of my vocal cords,、uh, meaning I Could play a a old guy and play very well, while at the same time I can also play the、uh, leading actress,、uh, the female roles. And it was fairly easy for me、uh, to switch between characters,、um, even though they require different vocal cords or different、uh, vocal spectrum.、Um, but it's not for everyone. 好，我们让给一位长辈，好不好 ？Well, let's um invite the gentleman. You played two bad、uh, Greek and Scottish women actors. Are there any bad women actors in Chinese? 你你讲了两个，就是呃，坏女人的形象都是来自西方的，一个是马克白，一个是希腊的。那中东方文化里面没有坏女人吗？呃，应该是说东方文化里面的坏女人呢，都不是青衣来演的，都是什么花旦啦、啊，呃，彩蛋啦、啊、这种角色。因为中国人讲的是一种呃，这个中正平和。所以呢，坏人不可以当主角的。嗯、um, ，Yes, there are definitely bad women in our culture, but they in uh uh Peking Opera's plays, uh they are uh predominantly being put into the supporting role. So there are, uh, and they exist. But then, um, for the Jingju as a performing art, uh, we also want to. Exercise this poetic, poetic justice, and that's why the leading actress will always have to be that nice and good,、uh, supportive lady. Because we Jingju, ah, virtuals. Oh, 最早的时候，其实它是一一种以教化为目的的一种表演。因为很多人都是文盲，他要透过看戏来来学习怎么样做人，怎么样来做事。所以呢，不可以有坏的榜样。坏的榜样就一定会被。
Um, imagine at the time when uh, Jinju was popular, that was the time when China predominantly were uh, illiterate. Most of the uh, citizens were illiterate. So um, as a part of the entertainment source uh, and also as a source of education in that sense for most of the illiterate uh, population, um, we have to have that poetic justice so that citizens will know what to do, what not to do, what to say. And when you become a bad person, you know, you, you won't end very well. 老爷爷问的问题非常好其实他就是这个就在讲述东西方文化不同的地方就是说我们东方文化呢是讲究的一个整体一个就是我们把天或者我们把皇帝啊或者都看得很重我们把自己看得很小但在西方呢是很早就开
但是艺术绝对不是为了复印而存在的，艺术是为了成长而存在的，艺术是为了人性而存在的。所以，我认为这个问题可以说，一个一个演员，他可以有各方面的创作，但是你要好好的继承，你学要学得很好。那么创作有的时候不是说你想创作就可以创作，你要有机会，要有那个机缘，你才可能碰到创作。所以不是每个人都有机会去创新的。那么所以学好老戏当然是最重要、最重要的。但是我觉得，呃，每一个时代的演员都应该有每一个时代不同的发生，不同的创造。他才能够跟这个时代结合，我觉得这个是我们呃呃必须要做的。我不能还停留在过去的那个观念里面，因为过去的戏，它的好是它好在它的表演的形式好，但是它戏剧的内涵，你会觉得它已经过时了，它已经不具备有。振聋发聩，让人们看到戏产生一种一种好像被共鸣的，或者说是呃感到你的人生好像面临到很大的一个转变的那个感觉。所以我想，呃，观众当然他可以说他只喜欢看老戏，他不看新戏 ，OK 的。但是演员不可以。演员不可以说“我只演老戏，我不演新戏”，那是你的，在你的这个时代，你缺席了。Okay. Um. So I believe as um as a performing artist, um, you would always have to evolve with with time. Um, an artist and um um a Peking opera singer. Uh, we can always spend decades learning or repeating uh, the old classics from Mei Lansheng, like for dozens of years. Uh, but um, we can never become him uh, as much as we try. No matter how many years I try to be as good as he is, uh, he is very unique in that style. And um, I need to learn to recreate each time uh, I perform. Otherwise, we're just trying to replicate, but you can never replicate the way he was uh, in his style and his opera, because that's his school and his opera. Um, and that's why when it comes to art, I think it is very important uh, to ask ourselves why there is the existence of art. The art is there because it helps us grow, it helps us to find out who we are. Um, and that's why for also for any artist, it is very important to be able to carry on the heritage you got from the classics, while at the same time to find opportunities to recreate. However, not everyone is blessed with that opportunity to recreate. As much as you try, as much as you are very good with that old classic or heritage. Um, to learn all the old classics, I think it is fundamental for any artist but it's very important for you as an artist to try to recreate in the learning of those uh, classics. Um, and um, if, if you don't do that, then you are going to be uh, out of context with the world around you. Um, and the, uh, the classics were great in the sense the forms that they create for that time and then space. Uh, but for you, for any art and artist to, to touch people's heart, um, you have to create something new that is relevant to your time and to your audience so that they will resonate better, so that they can feel, oh, because I I, I watched this play today, I watched this uh, opera today, I'm so inspired. We, we are trying to create that inspirational moments uh, among our audience. And that's why, um, to conclude, I think as an audience, uh, you can always say, oh, my favorite is those classics. But as a performing artist, you, you have to love the classic work, um, but also to try to create a spin through your innovation and creation. 
哈。<笑>呃，我那边再挑一位啊。嗯、哦，好 ，OK。OK， 谢谢。啊，老师好，很感谢您今天给我们带来这么系统，然后又非常具体的。讲解。那我想问的问题是，您其实饰演过东西方很多不同形象的女性角色，包括其实，在金昆当中，女性其实也是有非常多元的，呃，形象，比如说《狮吼记》或者是《玉簪记》，其实他们还有您演的《霸王别姬》里的，呃，玉姬或者贵妃，西方的也有很多很多不同的女性角色。那您在饰演的过程当中，呃，您是怎样去抓他们不同的特点？您会分别体验体现他们的什么相同或者不同，然后会用什么样的呃唱唱腔或者是技法去体现他们的这种特性？谢谢。Thank you, um, for bringing uh your presentation, uh, with uh in a very systematic way, uh, to help us understand um this performing art, uh, and especially with your experience in um um. Creating or actually to impersonate all these、uh, female characters, whether they are from the West or from the East,、uh, what are some of the commonality or differences you would draw on、uh, to help you、uh, to recreate that character?、Um, and what are、uh, some of the things you've learned through all these、uh, performing? Ah, because the dramatic performance is very. 具有特点的啊，它非常具有特点，而且它的呃表演是一个城市化的，所以呢，我们很容易呃在表演的时候呢，就过多的运用我们的技巧，好、啊，反而不会去进到角色里面。但是我从梅兰芳大师的表演当中，其实我深刻的能够感受到他在演角色，在演人物，所以我从很小的时候我就。很注重这一点，就是我要我要认识那个人物，我要认识那个角色，甚至于说这个角色是什么星座的，我都很好奇啊。就说他之所以会有那样子的表现，他是有什么样的过往，他有什么样的这个历程，使他变成现在这个样子。所以我讲，呃，思考。对于演员来讲是一个非常重要的，就是你如果所有的表演你都不经过思考的话，那它就没有生命了。所以我们演传统戏很重要的就是你要演，把那个把那个人物演出来，演的让人家感动，那这才叫演戏。我觉得这个是在我来讲是最重要的。嗯、um, ，in interpreting all those uh。Characters and figures. I feel the most important thing is to、um, to make to touch people through your characters. Because、um, if you are practicing or learning Jingju,、uh, it's fairly easy for you to fall into a template because it has the preset of songs and verses. So it, it's almost like a preset program already. Um, and you tend to, as a Jingju、uh, artist, you can easily be bogged down into how skillful、uh, I can be in one area, and you try to、um, exaggerate it, whatever you are good at, and and that sometimes would、uh, make you lose sight of what exactly the character is. Uh, the the inner thought of that character, and that would require, in order to really act or to play the character as if you it's your own, you have to get to know the character.、Um, sometimes, for my own research of any given character, I would also look at oh, what sign he or she is,、um, and then what kind of experience、uh, this character. Uh, had uh, what kind of、uh, episodes in life this character went through? So I I guess that thinking process to put yourself in the shoes and the life and experience of that character is very important to、uh, so that you can avoid not being creating or replicating or performing out of off of a template. And the goal 
of for that hard thinking, I feel uh, was the hardest is to try to touch your audience through that character. 那么更多的认识角色，那当然就是你自己本身的涉猎要非常的广。比如说，你看书，你看电影，你看任何的，呃，对你有帮助的，对人性有帮助的，我觉得这些都可以让你自己更多的认识不同的人物。And in order to have a thorough understanding of the character, of course, the prerequisite is that you have to, um. Be well versed in many ways,、uh, including you have to read a lot, you have to watch a lot of movies,、uh, all the sources that would help you to have a better understanding of your character. Last question. Last question. Uh, 刚刚因为这边没有，我们就 okay. Maybe on this side, we. 哪一位？哪一位？呃。这位好了，好，这边啊，谢谢老师。就是您会把啊，阿兰朵和那个呃梅蒂亚，就是会，你会把它称为京剧吗？如果是的话，您觉得那个就是它的整个文化背景，包括唱腔，包括舞台设计，都已经是跟您就是长，就是成一一一路成长起来的京剧已经是如此的不一样了。那您觉得这中间的那个一脉相承，或者说万念万变不离其中那个要素是什么？ Uh, um, a, the question about um the productions, uh, some of the Western productions, Orlando and Medea. Um, as you can see, those、uh, two productions have completely different cultural background. Uh, require different ways to sing, um, and different skill set to perform. Um, so they seem to bring you away from what uh we would imagine as Jingju. So do you still consider uh Orlando Medea as Jingju? Um, and if they are, what is the kind of consistency that we've been talking about? And for you to, um. To to see that essence of a traditional, uh, performing art in those types of、uh, productions. I think this is all marketing that is necessary. When you market, you need to consider this problem. Actually, what you are going to play, I think is not important. It is not important. You are going to play the role. Can you move people? That is the most important. We are going to add some more. I will make this photo into two parts. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ak, I feel bad that some of the people didn't get to ask questions, so I decided to split up the <laughs> gift. Ah,、uh, so we get to entertain more questions. But to answer your question, um, I I guess the question you are asking, um, is more relevant to the marketing of a production for artists. I I feel the fundamental question of whether it is um undertaking the role of. Uh, opera or performing art is whether I can touch my audience、yeah. through that production. I think that's the fundamental question we would ask. Hi, this is Bobo. Bobo. People don't get offended when they speak really loud to each other. They project. It just seems to be part of the culture.、Uh, do you have to do anything to develop your voice, or do you just get the Taiwan? Yes. <laughs> 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 <笑>呃，我我经常去台湾，然后我在台湾，每次到台湾的时候，我都觉得刚才这个大家说话的时候的这个共鸣感很强。那我不知道是不是因为就在台湾，大家天生的这个 DNA， 我我对我们的基因当中，就是让我们讲话很有这个穿透力，或者是很有共鸣感。也许是大家 KTV 唱多了哈。那但是我我也不确定是不是这样子，因为在感觉我到台湾，大家讲话的时候总是很有这个剧场效果的说话方式，哦，嗯，然后大家声音好像是可以比较洪亮的，但是我不知道这是不是你从您的角度来说，是不是您学的这个整个唱腔是来自于有一部分是来自于京，然后您自己唱 KTV 吗？嗯、呃，偶尔，偶尔 ，Occasionally I do sing karaoke。嗯，<笑>这个问题，哎呦。
天哪，没给礼物，很很难很难。那个那个韩韩国人，<笑><笑>我们给他一个机会好不好？<笑>不好意思，老师，其实我是中国人。呃 ，We， 呃 ，thought the Korean， 是中国人。And you are Chinese <笑>。<笑>没有关系。呃呃，老师在您的那个啊，谢谢您这个这讲座跟 demonstration， 就在您的这个人生履历中，你不管是在呃地理的那个区域上啊，还是在时代啊这中间的这个。呃，跨越跨越中，能看到很多这种不同的，从形式上啊，从色彩上这种审美的不同，东西方也好啊，还是现代和呃梅兰芳那个时代，甚至这个更早时代的那种审美，就是说您在您看来，京剧就是有一个什么样的一个作用，在这个审美方向给带给观众，就是一个一种传承啊，或者是一种呃，那这种多元化呀、啊，或者说是一种，就是大概是怎么样的，就是京剧这样的一个角色，在审美的这个方向。Um, thank you for your presentation and demonstrations today. Um, you have taken us through your、uh, lecture as well as your demonstrations.、Uh, different geographic areas, different time zones,、uh, and different schools、uh, in the performing arts when it comes to、uh, Jingju. So my question is,、um, what do you think、uh, Jingju has a、uh, Contributed to the enhancement of our aesthetic appreciation heritage. How, to what extent, uh, Jingju has helped us to diversify our aesthetic、uh, appreciation? Uh, I think these questions are old. Uh, because in this modern era, I think we really need to put aside the past and put the new. 很多的东西简化啊，呃，未来我们在创造的时候，呃，因为老戏本身，我觉得就是传统戏，我觉得它的审美已经已经非常成熟了，它已经立在那里了，你不应该去改变它。那么你可以做的就是自己去创造新的。那么创造这个这件事情，其实我觉得它本身就是一个非常珍贵的一个特质，不是人人都可以都会创作的，不是人人都可以有机会创作的。所以，当你有这个机会的时候，我认为你应该掌握。那么，至于审美是什么，那我觉得那是一个群体或者一个 team， 我们大家共同来寻求这个所谓的审美。如果我们大家都觉得哎，这个东西是很好的，那么它它推出了，受到欢迎了，那么它就立住了。所以我想这些事情都不是，都是一个未来不确定的一个问题。所以我在这里没有办法呃真正的回答，好吧？那我想我们再延长一点时间。那位朋友他刚刚举举手举很久了，请你啊。Yeah， 嗯、um,。你先等我介绍一下啊。Me, yeah， let me interpret first. Um. Um, I feel that that question already has a built-in presumption, some of the baggage of what we should do to perhaps to preserve or to keep that aesthetic appreciation or ethos there. But I guess our ultimate goal in、um, reflecting the the beauty around us is to simplify.、Um, I think、uh, Jingju has already established what. Uh, the the beauty of the performing art was,、uh, and is there's no need to change, uh, that definition or that um that 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 path, um it's for us um to create off the uh the beauty that we have seen through uh Jingju, um but then to create or to innovate uh it's. It it requires some sort of、uh, unique characteristic.、Uh, not everyone has、uh, can pull it off to do a good creation or、uh, innovation, and not everyone, like I said, would have that opportunity、uh, to do、um, creative uh, things. Um, and but when it comes back to、uh, what constitute、uh, aesthetics, I think it has to be a collective.、Um, Decision in the sense, or、uh, it has to be a team or a group 
uh, seeing what you put out and then to look at it, oh, it's welcome, it's probably very well received. And then that's determined to be something we all appreciate. Um, but all of those would be embedded in the future and there will be a hundred or multiple uncertainties around it. So it's kind of hard for me to give you an answer what that future is going to be. Hard to.非常难得的机会我的问题就是跟经济的观众有关系刚才老师说你们一九八零年代中期改编马克白的原因就是因为当时观众老化的缘故所以现在已经隔了大概四十多年了所以我要问的问题就是现在去看经济的观众还在面临
唱戏给别人看，别人高不高兴那是另外一回事，就是我自己有没有演好，我觉得才是最重要的。所以我始终都是鞭策自己最最强的一个人。所以我想，这也是今天我能够站在这里还能够唱戏的一个最主要的原因，因为我不会，呃，过度的美化自己，因为我知道在舞台上面是最严格的一种检视。呃、uh, ，I'll answer the first question first. Um, I I think as a performing artist, I feel the most important. Principle I will apply to myself is whether I've done a good work for today's play or today's show.、Um, it's、um, lesser important for me、uh, whether my audience is completely pleased or what their takeaway is, and that's why、um, it is very important for me to always be very diligent because in order to pass that test myself at the end of every.、Um, Performance. I have to stay、uh, vigilant and diligent, and and I think that's why I can still sing. I can still perform、uh, even till today.、Um, but for any artist,、uh, for any actors and actors, I think the 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 the、um, most brutal test is always on stage. Uh, because this is my experience. 因为我有时候在台上觉得自己唱的非常好的时候呢，通常那一场的录影都不是很好。当我觉得我唱的很忐忑，觉得我今天好像唱的不太好的时候，往往他成绩是好的。所以我后来我终于就领会到，就是说你自己的你自己这个演员的享受跟观众的感受是完全是两回事，不同的。Um, what I've learned through all my、uh, performances、uh, is that、um, there are times when you feel, oh, I'm I'm having my moment, and you're feeling a little bit cocky.、Um, but then you look at the recording, you realize when you think you are being at your best moment and being cocky, the recording wasn't the best. So you are doing that performance for yourself. But there are times when you bring a little bit of humiliarity to the stage.、Uh, you 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 have that little bit of timidness、uh, um, in your mind as you perform.、Uh, the recording of that one normally came out to be the best,、uh, and that's why I learn the most important thing is that、uh, you you need to be humble. 好。这是我的回答啊。那么你刚刚说十一岁，我们现在都是剧校，就是剧校呢，就是一半学科一半术科，都要念的，就是学科也要念，术科也要念。Um, so you, you, the second question was about the uh Peking Opera troupe. Uh, so in the the school for Peking Opera, um, we divided all the courses uh into two categories. You have academic parts. You also have the performing part. Hmm. 好了，我今天就回答到这儿了。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢各位。我们来合照。I would like us to thank、uh, Teresa for her wonderful job, and、um, I also want to thank. Without them, it's not possible. So, Adam and Lisa, thank you so much for coordinating and making this happen.